What's up guys? It is Tuesday today and I'm getting ready to go marketing training with my operators. This morning we had max launch and yesterday a lot of homework. I didn't really record much, but today is going to be a big day. We're going to be getting our first leads for 2022. I'm really, really excited. So stay tuned. Sam, it's marketing training and how are you dressed? Like a professional. Max, you're excited? Hell yeah, bro. Let's make some money. We're going to get some leads now, boys. Thomas is going to be on his way right now. So really excited to start. Let's get it. Session number one, marketing. Thomas, you got one. Oh, baby, I got one. Let's go. I got one. We got one in 10 minutes. I'm super happy for these guys. Let's get it. Oh so boys, how's it going? Pretty good. It's going great. I really like this activity. I think I'm going to do it more on my free time. I'm going to sell a bunch of stuff, not only painting. I love this so much. Making some money. So how many leads are you at now, Max? Three. Three, awesome. Sam, you got one. It's okay. Two, beautiful. Think about this. Like 45 minutes in, we got are we like about six leads. Crazy. Yeah, crazy stuff. So we're really excited. To go knocking more and more beautiful neighborhood here we keep going boys ready ready <laughs> let's get it door knocking 7 p.m i think we're up about at 10 leads or something now i'm gonna go and check up on sam and max max combien five but one is absolute dog so let's say four four and a half <laughs> beautiful 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 neighborhood here and we're gonna go crush it this year yes sir you better work hard because i am i am gonna work hard so we got almost two pages we got two leads for this one don't want speed page right now right here how are you feeling? Cold. It's very warm. The sun's strong. The sun is strong. I was like, I can't even talk. It's so cold. So, biggest takeaway today. Honestly, I really thought I was prepared for how hard it was going to be. But now that I know what it's like and they're experiencing this cold, I'm ready. You're ready? Yeah. Beautiful, man. Max, how's it going? Very well, actually. I'm enjoying this a lot. It's a volume game, baby. It's a volume game. This is what's up, dog. Ooh. Clients. <laughs> Clients. Show me the papers. Show me the papers. Oh, I hit them, bro. Mine. I got I got a couple hidden here and there. Like, give me a second. Give me a second. Names. I got one here. Yeah, fake names, fake another names. one. I think I got another one over there somewhere. La. Yeah, I got another one here. Oh, my you God. got full papers and everything. A for marketing. C for organization. Oh, uh, organization. <laughs> we got to work on that. But still, we got 17 leads, baby. Take care, guys. It was a good marketing session. Yes, yeah. sir. Okay. Day one. Bing, bong. So, tomorrow, it's going to be a little competition between these three. So text in the group when you're going marketing tomorrow and let's keep each other accountable. What's up, guys? Before I go marketing for 3.30 on Wednesday, I thought I'd let you guys know what I bring with me when I go marketing. Within the clipboard, we have some pencils. These pencils are used to take notes from the clients we're going to meet at the door. And we don't bring pens because they freeze outside. Other than that, we also have within the clipboard a bunch of flyers. And then we also have canvassing sheets. These canvassing sheets are pretty simple. We put their client's name, we put their phone number, we got the email address too, home address, what they want to get an estimate for, and also when is the best time to contact them. So this is what we bring with us, pretty standard. But that's what we do. We basically go door knock with a smile, a lot of energy, and we ask simple questions like, would you like to get an estimate for any projects you have for the summer. So this is the main way that I market for my business and most of the people at Sooners Works do. Usually my sales, 60 to 75% of it comes from door knocking. Really can't wait to show you guys some of the results we're gonna be getting this week. So stay tuned. What's up guys? I'm gonna show you guys what we do when we go to knock a door. And there's gonna be a bonus one on this one because it has one of those ring doorbells. So the first thing, you got a lead sheet, clipboard, we with a big smile. So my first step is I prepare myself a flyer, fold it together like this, a little circle right here. Go right here. We put it right there. Now, that flyer does not exist anymore. We're gonna go pitch. Next part is we're gonna be ringing the doorbell right there. Now, as you can see, it's a ring doorbell. It's electronic. They could talk to us in the doorbell. What do I do? I ignore the thing. If you get people answering you through a, an electronic doorbell, ignore them. They'll think it's not working and they'll come to the door and have a conversation with you. So there you go. That's how we pitch. So I'm about to ring at the door. And let's see if we got a lead. Let's get it. What's up, guys? I'm basically recording Saturday morning right now. Now I'm about to show you guys what I do to organize my business. We can start with the production binder. This is empty right now because I have no more. I don't. I don't have any jobs for this year right now. But this is what I'm going to be using to put my contracts for booked jobs. Next is this right here, accordion file holder. I basically have all my unused contract 
We have some sheets that I use for estimates, some canvassing forms, There's a bunch of different things. I also put papers for door knocking, like canvassing sheets, uh, even agreements, like employee agreements here. As for that, I keep this on my car all the time. Mostly unused things that I use to do things on the field. Next, this is an espresso box or something, but it's just a box where I put all my receipts for the year. Every month, I just go and I sort them out. To give you an example, this is basically, I think it's half of the things that I have in terms of receipts for my business. Here we have all the food, some of the gas. We have um, a lot of different things. It's all sorted out for what I spent across the whole season, last season running my business. And this is all of the Dulux receipts for paint. This is a lot of paint running over 100 projects in a summer. You'll expect a lot of receipts. And then the last thing, lunchbox. I used to call this lunchbox because I use it to organize myself in the summer a lot when giving this to my painters and then giving it back the checks and all the contracts that are completed. But right now I'm using it to really organize different things. Like here I have all of my door knocking canvassing sheets that are used. These are full of phone numbers and whatnot. Reason why I, I hoard this is because sometimes I put the wrong phone number and I could go back and check it out. This is last year, this is only 2021. I also have a bunch of unused recommendation letters, like basically a bunch of reviews that are from other clients. I just wanna store, obviously they're all good reviews from all my happy clients across the year. And we also have a bunch of jobs that weren't booked. These are the pending uh, contracts. And these ones I'll be probably calling them in the next few weeks to see if I could book them for this year. And I am planning on getting a new one. This is just pro call me. Uh, that's it, if there's any questions, comment down below. And I'm really curious to know, a lot of people watching this are probably gonna be running their own business. How are you organizing yourself? I'm really curious to know, so comment down and let's, let's chat. Let's see how we could organize ourselves a lot more effectively this year. Stay tuned. What's up guys? First estimate of the year. Really excited to show you guys what we do at StudentWorks. So this one's an interior, so I'll be taking some videos after uh, we do a walk around right now with the client, show you guys some little details about what I do during my estimates, and let's see if we book this one. So really excited, let's get it. So we just did the walk around with the client, super sweet guy. And I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna be doing for this project. So this is the master. We're going to be doing the walls. So all the walls have these, have these scratches right here. Cause they did a bunch of renovations. So we're gonna be doing all of the painting for that. So that's the first room. So this project is not bad. It's gonna be only the walls for this one, um, but they are big walls and a lot of cutting. So here to the walls. He also mentioned how the closets are gonna be coming down and building something else here. So he told me just to take into account that we might go further in. So again, setting great expectations with how we might have to come back and check it out. And the prices might vary because of it. For the most part, pretty simple project. I'll see you in the car. So guys, first estimate, really excited. Uh, we took the measurements for the rooms. So the client wants uh, four different prices. He wants a price for his boy's room. Uh, one of his daughter's rooms needs to get painted too. So we're getting a price for that one too. And then the master needs two prices, one for the whole room and one for the accent wall that he wants to do. So he genuinely, for all of them, he just wants to be generally doing just the walls for now. They're white. So he wants to change the colors and make them different colors for the kids and for himself. The way it works is we're gonna use these, we're gonna be using the student works uh, paint tech and standards book which has all the formulas that our operators use to do the quotes we're going to be using our estimate sheet to compute how much we price these jobs at and once we have a price for these jobs i will be writing up a contract with agreement where we're going to be explaining everything and i'm really excited to see what we come up with as price and see if we book this one so let's get it what's up youtube we booked the job eric was super nice he booked us for the accent walls we had a little bit of hiccups he was thinking of just doing the accent walls when we're showing the agreement which i found odd because he wanted to do the whole bedrooms honestly like he, he wanted to support and we found a solution which is basically book for the accent walls if he chooses to go for the full bedrooms he'll take the other prices for it so man i'm just excited this is the first sale towards our goal for this year super sweet client and i cannot wait to see how this job's gonna turn out so let's get it what's up guys second estimate of the oh, okay so guys, what's up? Uh, second estimate of the year. I'm about to present it. It's a deck estimate for Robin. Super sweet lady. 
met the husband too. Very, very sweet. She does not want her paint to be bought by us. She wants to provide her own paint, which is fine. We're going to be doing one coat on her deck. Funny part about this deck is that we're going to have to wash it and not sand it because it is an ePay deck and the client just got it built. So we don't really need to do any kind of maintenance. We're just going to wash it off and then put one coat of the ePay oil stain. We're going to go and book this one and I'll catch you guys soon. decided we booked our second job so we're going two for two for the week bam bam robin booked the job for her deck again not a big job one coat she wants to provide the stain too but she was super sweet i'm gonna put all this stuff in the binder and really really excited for the coming week let's get it sunday night recap this week we really got our teams involved in marketing my own personal business was able to book roughly around two thousand dollars for the business at a booking rate of a hundred percent our team actually generated 112 leads we're starting baby we're getting we're getting there i'm really excited for next week next week we're going to be doing estimates for our operators and we're going to be starting a bit of recruiting too i just want to let you guys know i really appreciate all the support for our first video too really just like comment and subscribe support the channel support the cause and let's get it thank you